Okay, so let's get to some of the uh, cool things you can do with this. So uh, take the dinosaur example here. So these are the more ex advanced um, planar section creation uh, techniques beyond just the, uh, the four-step stroke thing I showed before. So say we wanted to actually make these intermediate sections on this spine that I'm deleting on this guy right here. So we, uh, there's actually a blending operation. So there's a number of operations. One of them is blend uh, in the generate menu here. So to use this, um, what you need to do is you need to select three sections. You need to select the, the base section, which is the section that sections, <laughs> the, it's, it's the piece that other pieces will be copied along. So it's going to define the path for you, okay? And then the other two you need to select are the, you know, the, the curve on one side, and then lastly the the curve on the other side. So now when we do blend, it's actually going to generate um, a series of shapes that you know interpolate across this curve, but also interpolate the shape itself. So the two planar sections on either end can have a different shape to them, and it will actually fit that. So we'll do another one over here. So I'll delete these intermediate uh, ribs, and then I'll select this, select that, select that, and now maybe I don't want to have 10 sections like I did here. So over here on this blend op slider, you'll see I can actually change this. So now we're, we're going to go with five sections. And that's inclusive. That also includes the first and last section. Actually, maybe let's do six. So I set that to six. And then I go to blend. And then there you go. So now we've got an interpolated uh, set of planar sections between these two. Uh, so it's as simple as that, I guess. So I'll just do that one more time and delete some of these guys. All right, select the base one, select the one on one side, select the one on the other side. Let's maybe do 11, uh, 12 sections here, whatever. Okay, and then so you can do blend. The shortcut's Control E. I'll just hit Control E. There we go, 11 blended sections. Okay, so hopefully there's some, some cool things you can do with that. Note that parameters for blend and other operations, such as the number of sections created, can be interactively modified after the operation's been applied.